Good morning, guys. Okay, I gotta make this quick because Dad just went out and my mom's in the shower, so this is a great time to make my vlog for the day. Like I said, I was cleaning up and literally lightening my load, which is what everybody should be doing. And I've always had issues with my bags, as you guys know. I'm a backpacker. At first, you know, I had this small little backpack. I loved it. I used to carry stuff in it all the time, and then I kept hearing, Yeah, I got so much stuff. You got everything in this backpack and everything in this backpack. You know, so I shortened it a little bit because I didn't want to hear them why. And I got smaller backpacks, which worked, but I still had to pack them for, like, my trips and my, my trips into the city and my day. I always carry supplies. Always carry supplies. You never know when you need them. And I always found that I needed them. So, the final thing was, you know, oh, you're not even, you're not, you know, you gotta fam up a little bit. You know you're a girl, right? And I went and bought a purse. Now, mind you, that purse became a pain in my, I'll say, a pain in my ass. I'm not that type of girl. I'm a backpack girl. I don't mind. I didn't want a big, big one. I'd like a small, cute. If I can find a black leather or a, a like a brown leather or quarter van or deep, rich leather, I would love it. And it doesn't have to be big at all. I mean, the backpacks I used to carry around and used to have were the best. But either the strap broke or a hole. So I miss that. Anyway. I finally found a bag, a backpack. It's really small. It's a little bit girly because it's got little symbols on it and everything. But, hey, all in all, it's a backpack. And, like I said, I trimmed my load. I cut down on a lot of the stuff I used to have with me all the time. And I'm learning to accommodate for my lack of space now and that's fine and I've learned to do that with a lot of things well I used to do that I started doing that years ago with associates friends and stuff like that you know those people that really couldn't do anything for me or took advantage of me or expecting me to do more than they ever did for themselves. Which, you know, was part of my... I made a vlog about this before. It was clutter bug or something. Getting rid of all my clutter garbage. Like, when I cleaned my closet, I realized I had clothes. I was like, oh, I thought about it. I could use it and wear it and stuff like that. And I never did. Bye! Would my life be better if I didn't know it existed in my closet? Yeah, there's only one thing I gave away that I wish I hadn't, but I'll live with it. It's a sweater that I used to have. I'll live. It was my mistake, and I'll regret it. But the sweater was so big and bulky, and it just made me look heavier when I think about it. So there was a plus and a minus. Anyway, that was that. Um... And what I recommend for you guys is, like, do the same. Whatever it is, really kind of, I'll say it weighs you down and just makes you feel like you've got to add more and more and more to ease your, I don't want to say anxiety, but just ease you, calm you, calm your nerves. You know, you don't even need that. I didn't even need half the stuff. I had in my bag, but I just kept it for traditional reasons. Like, you know, there were things I kept in my bag for when I used to go into New York to work, you know, as an extra. I don't want to be an extra anymore, so I don't need all that stuff. Now I just need, I slim down my basics to travel for, you know, as opposed to I gotta make sure I have a battery. I gotta make sure I got this. I gotta make sure I have a, you know, this for when I go this way. Or just in case they stay too long, I gotta have this. 
I, I originally cut that factor out of why I needed it, and now I have what I need for right now. And that's another thing, live for right now. Meaning, live for the life you want to have right now and forward, as opposed to the life you had into now. I hope that made sense. I'm babbling, I'm sorry. So, I'll, I'll end that part here. And as always, you got something to say, you want to comment, please do so. You know, I don't want you guys to feel that I'm the voice of everything or you get turned off because I'm talking talk to me if you disagree please talk to me let's have an exchange a conversation anyway um mom's done with the shower so she's gonna be down soon yeah right <laughs> whatever that's another thing you know don't don't make people wait for you too long. She can make you wait for her forever. Unless it's something she wants to do. But you know people like that. And it drives us crazy. Anyway, that's enough of me venting about my mother. Uh, anyway, we're done. For those, I again, I hope you had a good Columbus Day. We had a nice one. It was just a nice quiet day of us home. Um, Sleepy Hollow was really good. It was, you know, it wasn't like one of the best. It was a, it was a good calming episode. You know, there were episodes where it's not like, oh my god, it's amazing. This one is like a good transition episode into what's about to come. You know, you get excited about the action and everything. Because in I'm that sorry. my best friend called again and I lost track of what I was saying, so... I'm going to end it here, and again, I hope you had a good day, and I hope you had a good holiday and a good weekend, and let's keep talking, meaning not just me. Tell me what you want to talk about. I know you like the reviews of the show and everything, and I, like I said, it's going somewhere. Right now, you know, the, yesterday's episode was a transition into something that's getting a lot bigger. I can sense it. I can feel it. So... Just to go back to what I was saying before. And, um, yeah, just keep watching. It, the show is getting good. Also, if you're on Facebook, Tom Meissen, who plays Ichabod Crane, he's been posting a lot of stuff because he's excited about the show. And take that as a hint. Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a great day. And we'll talk in the morning. Good night. Well, bye. Whatever. Uh, I'm a dork. Whoa.